evening everybody and I want to do an update on my piercings and the piercings that I didn't even get to talk to you about yet. Uh, I haven't even talked about getting my nose pierced. I mean we'll come in for some close-ups here but I got that one done. I got my nose done. I know you saw the video of me getting my, uh, trying not to touch the new ones, but I got my forward helix done here and, you know, it's going to be hard to see without getting a real close up, but you see I kind of can push and pull this one back because it's pretty much healed. I have my, I got my conch done too, actually, geez, it's been at least two months or so, and uh, the jewelry that they originally gave me is one of these uh, corkscrew things that, ugh, <laughs> they're a pain in the butt. But, um, yeah, so I've had that, and everything else is doing pretty good. I had a little, I don't know if it's completely gone, but I know it's diminished. I had a little uh, hypertrophic scarring, it's a keloid whatever you call it, but it's not really a keloid because that has to be medically removed, but just, you know, whatever slang, if you want to say little piercing bumps, so, uh, yeah, I just got some tea tree oil and uh, used some antimicrobial soap. I also use the H2O Ocean, and sometimes I use uh, superheated distilled water with some sea salt, the non-iodized one. Don't use your table salt. Don't, you know, if you have a uh, shaker of salt on the table, don't use that, okay? so. Let's uh, come up and get a close-up of my ear hair so you can uh, see the piercings. Okay, so this is my little nose piercing. As I said, the first piece of jewelry broke in a few days and you can see this one, I don't want to push it out too much, but or really be sticking my fingers up my nose because that kind of looks gross. But uh, uh, let's see. I don't know if you can kind of see the screw there. Okay, and over here. See, we have our tragus one, I think is looking a lot better. Our uh, forward helix, uh, my flat, these ones around the sides are obviously older. And uh, here's my conch piercing the big silver ball that's down in there if you have a conch uh, you know what it is and there's my anti-tragus still waiting to heal so I can get uh, maybe a smaller gold horseshoe down here so just taking care of those as best as I can but they're doing pretty good for the most part except for that uh, little bump and you know I haven't had really any other problems with them just you know if I do end up sleeping on that side it's kind of like it's 
a little bit sore so you know how it is with piercings if you have any and if you do have piercings especially a nose piercing tell me what kind of jewelry you have in yours if you have a screw if you have a bone if you have a uh, kind of a a bent one or uh, one of those clicker ones let me know what kind of jewelry that you have in yours so uh help give me some ideas so that's the update on my piercings i still just have the three on this side but hmm who knows that might change and uh okay let me show you my outfit because the boots especially that i'm wearing was one of my christmas presents okay here's my outfit of day a new dark and love shirt and just a skirt a head laying around if you want to check out my boots these are some, these are something I got from my family for Christmas. They also have, in addition to the heels that you can see, there's also wedges inside them. So they're actually making it even taller than with the heels that you can see. And they're really comfortable. You know, you could dance all night at goth club and not having your feet really be killing you too much and I got some other shoes to show you but not those today so let me just Okay, friends and fiends, that's about it for this one. So, okay, it's your last chance to enter for the necklace. The next time I film, I will be giving it away. So, I love you all. Peace and let the darkness be with you. Bloody kisses.